everyone, it's Tawny Seren here with Peep Show Toys, and since it is Masturbation May, we're diving in with a big question a lot of you have been posing. Is it okay to masturbate in a relationship? Or what is that like when you're masturbating in a relationship? Now, keep in mind, you've got a lot of stigmas in the world around us already about sex toys. There's a lot of people that are saying, if you're playing with yourself, then you must not be satisfied with your partner. This is not true. Sex toys are not a replacement for your partner or your partners. They are an enhancement. They are a way for you to go ahead and explore the things that you might not explore as readily with a partner. We gotta keep in mind when we explore with ourselves, we're only really gauging our own interactions, our own reactions, and trying to find what works best for us. When we play solo outside of with anyone else, it gives us an opportunity to try some new sensations that we might not have been as bold to try in the bedroom with a partner. This also allows you to really get to know your body without the touch or the influence of other people. In a lot of cases, this can make it much more easier for you to go to your partner and express what you like. Because if you don't know what you enjoy solo, then it's hard to sometimes articulate that in a group setting or with your partner. So when you are kind of divulging in this self-discovery, you're having a chance to really, again, find things and confidence in things that you then can bring to your partner or the bedroom. Like, hey, you know, I tried this anal toy the other day and I think I might actually like anal. What do you say we give it a try in the bedroom? can be a way to really set those stepping stones. Whereas with your partner, you could be a little bit more shy about jumping in and trying that during sex. Or you might already know your routine and know it feels good and not really wanna go outside the box with it. So it does give you an opportunity. But it's very important to understand when you're masturbating in a relationship, this is something that potentially your partner might not understand. They may hear those stigmas around them so often and truly believe that I must not be doing something right if they're doing this. That's where communication comes in. Always have conversations with your partner about how they feel about masturbation in a relationship. Articulate that this is not a replacement and this isn't something that is going to get in the way of your time together with your partner. Because that is another worry for many is that if they're masturbating all the time, they won't have any left for me. So make sure that you're very conscious of that and that you're not using masturbation as a replacement or to, you know, not get to take advantage of the opportunity to be with your partner because you've masturbated. Just express to your partner that it might be that maybe some days they're not in the mood or maybe some days you really just want to divulge in that self-care and spend that time with yourself enjoying your body and exploring new things that you would then want to share with them. Communication is key and it's important to make sure that your partner doesn't feel replaced, they don't feel that they you know, are discouraged from having sex with you or that there's anything wrong with them in a situation where you might seek out masturbation. But it is absolutely normal to do that in a relationship. So communicate with your partner, dive in, and it may just offer that opportunity to find something new that you like that you can share with them in the future. I hope this has helped you with your masturbation journey. So grab a toy, grab your partner, and I wish you all of the fun in the world. Thank you all so much. Bye.